for an environment like a dental school, there's not a lot of evidence to guide decision making. Pre-COVID, we used to take care of about seven to 800 patients per day, and now it's a fraction of that figure. University of Michigan engineering researchers are working with the School of Dentistry to model the dispersion of aerosols within the dental school. Aerosols are generated through procedures like high-speed drilling and ultrasonic cleaning and can be conduits for the coronavirus if not properly filtered. So we know that there are aerosols that are actually used as part of the dental practice and what we want to know is how to control those. So we're doing high-speed imaging in order to visualize where the sprays are striking the surface of the tooth and where are they traveling afterwards. And then we're using some aerosol measurement tools that tell us what size particles are being generated and how many are being generated. With this information, various tactics have been implemented, including better airflow, the size and placement of plexiglass barriers, and precision scheduling of users that can serve as models for other dentistry practices. The world of dentistry is completely changing and regular dental offices are actually starting to look more like dental schools in terms of large clinics with many staff, many dentists and that sort of thing. So the implications of this work is that we can increase that productivity, increase learning, increase access to care.